guys, I just got back from an antique store and I found uh, a bunch of these vintage pinbacks of all kinds. It looks like mostly political stuff. Not even sure what's in there, but I wanted you to get the first look with me. Let's dive in. I'm talking about a rusty how to. Rusty how to. Alright, guys. See what we got here. It says three store, twenty dollars. Uh, and I got all these buttons. I want to dive into it and just take a look and see it because it's pretty awesome uh, what what can you even find in these things sometimes. First off, we got this interesting uh, thing here that says, in celebration of the Florida primary, and it says, please respond to the local secretary, the social secretary, the White House, and include the name of your guest. And here it says, the president and Mrs. Carter request the pleasure of your company at a reception to be held at the White House Thursday evening, March 9th, 1978. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm getting this invitation a little bit late. Uh, it looks like the event has already taken place, so I'll have to extend my uh, apologies to Mr. and Mrs. Uh, president Carter uh, now. Uh, they probably know uh, that I couldn't make it, but I definitely just need to let them know that I got the invitation a little bit late. But what I did get was a bunch of these buttons, and I'm super excited. I mean, just off the bat, look at this. I have a dream, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, I've got one, two, uh, looks like two of these. Martin Luther King, that's awesome. Robert F. Kennedy for president. Bobby Kennedy for president. Wow. This one here says the Florida Democrat Party State Convention. And it's got a bunch of these uh, these men on it here who are running, it looks like. Uh, this one says, call the faith gap in 68. It's Kennedy again. Uh, definitely some awesome vintage ones. I like Ike. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow, what do we got here? What does it say on the back? Local uh, 115, uh, I'm not sure. Harding and Coolidge? Crackers for Graham? <laughs> I have no idea what that's about. Shriver? Uh, what is this? Era, let's, let's make it the American way. And then I see a bunch more of these. Here's uh, another political one. I don't know who that uh, who, who that particular individual is, but we'll have to look it up. Landon and Knox, it says. Murphy of 70, seated as a delegate. Guys, some awesome ones. Roosevelt and Wallace, if you can believe that. So we've got uh, Kennedy. We've got Roosevelt. We've got Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We've got... Um, you know, LBJ, Viva LBJ, it says. I'm glad I didn't vote for Reagan. <laughs> Variety of these things. A full dinner bucket, says Sound Money and Good Markets. And this is Roosevelt again, guys. Uh, Jimmy Carter for president. Man, and then Obama. So it spans the gamut here, guys. Right here, Nixon Lodge, victory. I'm for Nixon and Lodge. Nixon and Lodge here. Uh, November 8th, 1960, Los Angeles, California. The fact that it's on this paper as well is just is extraordinary, guys. Takes guts. Shevin for Attorney General. My goodness gracious. Thomas E. Dewey for president. Wow. Up our next our next president. Adlai Stevenson. Well, I don't think he ever became president. Here's another, here's one for John F. Kennedy, who was actually our president. More for Reagan. I mean, guys, just oodles of these. Another one for Robert Kennedy. I'm just uh, nearly beside myself with excitement. Preparedness. Wilson. Peace with honor and prosperity. And then another Franklin Roosevelt. So we had Teddy Roosevelt. We got Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, Humphrey Muskie. And the list goes on, guys. Who's this? Who's this goofy guy here? George Murray for all California. Uh, wow, friends, another really old one. Alfred E. Smith for president. Uh, a bunch of people who ran for president and never made it. Hoover, re-elect him for a speedy recovery. Um, that is just incredible, guys. What an awesome collection. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Wendell Lewis Wilkie, our next president. I mean, I'm, 
not sure if I should sell these individually, if I should sell these in lots, but I have some very old and probably somewhat rare buttons here, all for $20, guys. I'm not joking you when I say that uh, this John F. Kennedy one, possibly this Franklin Delano Roosevelt one, or even any of these uh, Dr. Martin Luther King ones, I may be able to sell for $20 by itself. And without doing an actual count, we've got somewhere in the range of 30 to 40 buttons, um, some of them from as early as uh, it looks like the 19 uh, and 40s, 1930s, 1940s, all the way up to uh, Obama's presidency here. Um, so it's super exciting to see this. Somebody uh, put a lot of effort into collecting these. I'm so happy to find them. Guys, I know you look at it and you say, it's buttons. Who cares about buttons? Who's wearing buttons anymore? Well, not a lot of people are, guys, but there's definitely a big collector market for this stuff. Keep your eyes out. If you can buy big grab bags like this for $20, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it is our bread and butter. Buy in bulk and sell things individually so that your cost per item is so small, you don't have to make a big profit per piece in order to be bringing in profit when you put it all together. Rusty, rusty, rusty how to Rusty, rusty, rusty how to Rusty, 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 rusty.